y'all. It's your girl Jada, aka J Bot Baby, and I'm here with Mo Boombox tonight, um, representing uh, Sold Out Dates, and I'm here with I'm Keith, owner, founder, CEO of Sold Out Dates. Uh, we back home in Charlotte tonight, 10 p.m. in Charlotte. So yeah, let's get here with Boombox. Oh yeah, and we're also here with Cortez, host, high man, Sold Out Dates, taking this plane over from Memphis 901. We outside, you know it. Oh yeah. So um, just to start off with, I, I you know I appreciate your time. Thank you for allowing me to come in here, y'all. But what is Soda Dates for people who don't know? What is Soda Dates? Um, Soda Dates is a new way to have fun. Like we have events, uh, we don't really like to call them parties. So we want people to come out, bring that energy. Uh, we call it Soda Out because it's for our people, mm -hmm. uh, by our people, and we very ingrained, embracing the culture. We very up to date. And we want people to come and just feel like they can be themselves and do what they want to do, like redefining what a party is. So. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, with that being said, I know there's a lot of strings that you know are being pulled to make this stuff happen. Like, who do you want to shout out? Who do you want to like acknowledge? Like, who's a part of the team and what's their role a part? Of um. So our team is like it's it's bread. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's bread right now. So we have. The formal team, and we got the informal team. So of course, my partner Vaughn, um, and we have Tori who holds everything together. And we got Tavares, who also does a lot of stuff together, manages stuff on the road. And we got Cortez, who's here, handles the energy with the crowd. Um, and we got a whole range of DJs. SLD DJ Network is is deep and talented. Yeah. Um, and then we got everybody that holds it down the door. We got Shag, we got Dom, we got. Uh, Chase and Bird sometimes, and we have Justin. Like we have, we have a lot of people that come in as part of the family. Can't leave the DJs out. Of course, we got Olo. We out there right now. Broad Day. We got Fly. We got Vic. We got Showcase. We got Bundy. We got Midville. And we got a whole bunch of other people that come on and make this thing, make this thing push. So. Oh yeah, so y'all are stacked, really. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a community to build something as good as this, though. So shout out to your team. Um, so y'all are fairly new. How did y'all get the word out about Soda Out Dates? How did that go? How did the buzz happen? Um, I feel like it was the concept is what some was what people wanted. Mm -hmm. Like coming out of the club, because um, we were we were pretty big clubbers. Like we go out to the section and like what we were doing in the section is what we wanted to do like on the middle of the floor. Like we felt like how we were acting, the energy that we had, we wanted that to be the whole entire party, the whole event. Yeah. Like somewhere where you can come and like you might be cool and the person beside you might not be cool, but y'all all the same person at the party. Like you come here and you feel like you can have a good time. You don't have to hold nothing back. Yeah, that's awesome. No, I think it's a very important to have a space to where you can just be yourself, have a good time and not feel like you gotta be all Yeah, yeah you, you, know gotta, you gotta be the coolest out there. You can yeah. be fresh, like you can be fine. Like you can come and have a good time too. Like, yeah, no that's a fact. I think that's something that we've slowly grown out of, but that you know with sold out days being around right it keeps that energy alive that's what's up yeah for sure like and i also feel like people feel like when you're younger that's the only time that you can have fun with yeah. yourself like no like it's old people out here we're not oh, that <laughs> you have a good oh, time yeah. like you know what i mean like we still you still have some energy and you like let's let's, let's have a good time yeah for sure so i'm gonna ask you some questions too yeah, let's get to it. so like where is one location that y'all haven't hit yet that you want to go <laughs> if I if I say he gonna start laughing because we were just talking about this yesterday. Yeah. I don't know for some reason I want to go to um, either Milwaukee or um, Wyoming. Oh wow! Yeah. For some <laughs> reason. <laughs> yeah, I never, never Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know Milwaukee is the one for sure. But you know um, definitely definitely one of those or like Europe for sure though. Oh yeah, that would be Europe, great. Europe oh, for yeah. sure. That's what we're trying to gear up to like doing more New York shows so we can get that pipeline and go to. Yeah, for that sure. would be awesome, especially with y'all, with you know the energy y'all have. Yeah. Uh, that would or Jamaica, because we have so many like. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's we got like go for Jamaica, you know. What we, got, we got a bunch of Africans. We got a bunch <laughs> of Africans. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, yeah. like anywhere y'all like go, I feel like it'll be a great atmosphere, you know, and everybody will show love to y'all because what y'all got going on is really cool. So, um, I can't wait to see where y'all go next. Um, I did see that you guys are headed to Bali, is that true? Yeah, yeah, so we got a sold out destinations um, and we do a bunch of like trips, like yeah. trips for similar minded people, like working professionals, creatives, um, 
There's people that are looking for like a travel trial for real. Mm -hmm. So we just came back from Dubai last week wow. and we had uh, 50 people there. Um, so yeah, man, it's, it's good trips. Like it's not overwhelming trips. It's not super crazy party trips. It's more like embracing the parts that we want to see. Like well, me and Pond travel a lot. So mm -hmm. we like to give that to other people. And our other partner, uh, Quay, he also travels a lot too. So we mm -hmm. kind of merge companies with the destinations. And we uh we do we do pretty nice trips like we do really good trips. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what by far I know y'all have experienced a lot of different areas, a lot of different cities. By far, what's been like the biggest and best city that y'all have been? <laughs> it's hands down. Hands down. Hands down, man. One one thing about it, the camera's rolling right now. Houston is an amazing city. I love Houston. We love Houston. <laughs> love Houston. have a lot to offer. The I'll energy is amazing in Houston. I swear to God, from the time you get off the plane and go to happy hour. Houston is on deck. Shout out to Houston. I hate you, man. Yeah. Shout out to Houston. Drake is the only person that loves it. We love it too. Yeah. So. <laughs> I do a top three. I do Houston, number one. Uh, New Orleans is really crazy. Yeah, for some reason. Um, yeah. New Orleans is always crazy. New Orleans, like for some like our first time in New Orleans, it was like Big Frida pulled up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big Frida pulled up. Like, that was actually like really. It cool. was wild. That was really cool. Was um, cool. and then third, I would say, of course DC, man. That's oh, yeah. that's where we live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, but yeah, oh, of course. Yes. And New York. Yeah, New York is fun. I mean, yeah, uh, we got fun everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Houston, Houston, Houston was so, they stand alone. They stand alone. They stand alone. Stand alone. Miami was good too, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Miami yeah. was a vibe too. Yeah, Miami was fun, but we just like being there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all like being there. Yeah. So, what's like one big project that y'all are working on that y'all haven't really talked about that's, you know, coming to works for the Soil Days? Is um, it just events or y'all trying to like? So we really like, we still feel like we're so like fresh and young that like we need to still grow what we have going on currently. So like this is still a big project. Like the Sold Out Dates party in general is still a very big project to me. Um, let's be excited about like we did all this in like one year and now it's like next year to me is like a reset. We come back stronger with just Sold Out Dates parties all over. Yeah. Um, just transitioning to like displaying, doing the party with the brand, like doing the event that way. In other cities, um, destinations is a big project for us too. Even though we have been doing a lot of trips, like we wanna make it like a machine. Like That's a fact. We can send people around the world, we can. People aren't just traveling when, on the dates that we yeah. go, so we can, we, can, we can set that up and change a couple people's lives every weekend, that'd be, that'd be fulfilling. Um, we also want to like develop like an app too, like a, a first person, like here's your experience at the event or here's what's going on in your city. Like I know it's a lot of pages on Instagram and stuff now that are like, wow, I was in Charlotte or hey, what's the move in Charlotte? Yeah. Um, and they're like, that's a go-to source, but if they could like put that on an app platform where it's like you can get paid for advertisements, like you can have people upload the events for you so you aren't the one that has to search you. Right? People DM you all the time trying to like get you to do events. Like you moving different. Yeah, so it's like if we can get that going, um, I feel like that'll be pretty big. Yeah, that'll definitely yeah. be big. Really different, but innovative as well. You're keeping up with what's going on, which is yeah. great. But no, nah, that's what's up. Like what's one like within the last year or however long you've been planning this, what's one of the tools that you can honestly say helped you grow? and helped you stay consistent with the growth that you've um, been able to achieve? Um, just the team, man. Um, just the team. Like, they, they really believe in us. Uh, we all believe in each other. And it's hard to, like, you know, just be with somebody that believes in something and you're just not really going hard for mm -hmm. it. So every time we do that, you know, put them on the back, they put us on their back, and we just keep running that way. Like, it's fun. I like watching numbers, and I like yeah. watching them in real life. So. Yeah. And it's like we're not, we're not, we're not like, like we're all like really like cool. Yeah. Like we're all like we're like cool too. Like it's not like a, it's not like you like just like working with somebody. Like it's like if you if you travel with somebody for like seven months yeah. after a year, y'all family. At like you can't yeah. <laughs> like like you like like you definitely get to know somebody way quicker than you just yeah. working and going home type thing. Like you living with that person, like you traveling with that person, yeah. like you eating with that person, you breaking bread. So it's yeah. like it's a community within the community, and we all got different other things going on within that we that we show up and support. Yeah. Like if I got a show in DC mm -hmm. with like money bag or anything like that, my whole team comes. Yeah, the whole thing going vice that's versa. Love, man. That's love. Yeah, that, that's one of the cool things about it. Like we all have our own individual worlds, and then like we all got our sold out world too. So yeah. it's like it's, it's cool. 
Yeah, that's what's up. That's great to have a community like that and, you know, like-minded people who are not, you know, just there for the hype, but there for the journey. Yeah. So that's what's up. You know, that's a blessing to have around you. I just want to say thank you so much for your time. Like, those are all the questions yeah. that I had. <laughs> I can't wait to learn more about Sold Out, and I hope that everyone who's watched this can't wait as well. So where can yeah. we reach y'all at, though? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Sold Out Dates, S-O-U-L-E-D-O-U-T-D-A-T-E-S. Um, yeah, of Sold Out Dates on Instagram, Sold Out Dates on TikTok. Uh, my IG is underscore Haney, H-A-Y-N-I-E. Um, Cortez is that boy Cortez, T H A T B O Y C O R T Z. It's gonna pop up the first one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank y'all. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, for sure.